we have very obvious <laughs> mutants here, very <laughs> short one. Zebrafish represents a great new model for scientists, not only in this country, but throughout the world, to be able to use a small vertebrate model that's very inexpensive to look at the role of very specific genes and how they contribute to many different pediatric and adult diseases. What is important is also that they develop very fast. From the moment of fertilization to the uh, beating heart, it takes about 22 hours. So I'm looking at five days old zebra fish. The basic body plan of uh, fish is very similar to us. You have a backbone, they have internal organs uh, functioning very similar to two hours. So you have eye, ear, and heart, and heart is beating, yes? There is no limitation of using zebrafish in study, and we are looking at the uh, mutation, the disorder of, of both cartilage and bone. And this is important because the skeletal uh, problems are one of the most common problems in, in humans. The bones fuse and the body cannot grow. This is kind of dwarfism. We want to understand what is biological underpinning of this. Maybe we can understand better how kids get very similar syndrome. Well, Sandra was born with achondroplasia. Um, basically, she's a little person. So we were asked to, um, to take part of this drug study. What is this drug supposed to do is help her bones grow. I think she's perfect just the way she is. But of course, Alessandra, she wants to be like everyone else. I hope the medicine does work. I hope that she does grow, because that's what she wants. We have basic scientists who are working side by side with clinical scientists. And all of this work is to benefit patients at the bedside. Today's discoveries are tomorrow's cures and new therapies. And what we always like to say is that research gives all of us hope for a better tomorrow, for new cures and new therapies. We are very grateful and we have projects that, that depends on this at the moment and it helps us to fulfill our mission of helping a research that eventually will find its way to the clinic. And I want the best for my daughter. We wouldn't be able to do this drug study if it weren't for those that donate to the hospital. So I'm very grateful for those that do donate. Thank you.